We'll just give it a few seconds here for some people to jump on and we're going to make a really great card tonight. So I'll just give it a few minutes or seconds. <clears throat> let people kind of get the little ding notification that we're on here. Hello, Connie. Nice to see you this evening. So happy to be here with you guys. Make this wonderful card tonight. This card is all about dimension and um, just some folding. Hi, Janet. And so it's not that difficult really to put this together. Hi, Sue. Okay, so welcome to everyone. Sunday evening, I like to do my lives here at Stamping in the Valley. Good evening, Judith. Um, and I, uh, this evening, going to do a Z fold card. So as soon as I saw, hi, Sue. As soon as I saw the, um, the bees, I thought about the Z fold. I love this, so pretty. Hey, Laura, just like that. And then this afternoon, hey, Diana, I made this one. Isn't that adorable with the ladybugs? So cute. Okay, let's go over last week's little giveaway. We have some ribbon and some champagne rhinestones and some, a bow and just some embellishments in here. Um, this uh, piece of uh, petal pink that is embossed with that Parisian um, uh, embossing folder. And then this card that we made last week. Hi, Mary. Hi, Lily. Um, with this beautiful embossing with the gold embossing on those, look at that, on the flowers, that came out so pretty. So this is the giveaway from last week. Hey, Vicki. <clears throat> and um, let's go ahead and pick that winner. So everybody's name's in my little, my favorite little bucket. Hey, Glenda, nice to see you. Hi, Mary. There we go. Let's see, who is this person right here? Sherry Low Roper. Sherry Low Roper. Hi, Diana. Um, and so I will contact her and tell her that she won the giveaway. Now, the giveaway for this week coming up um, that we'll do next Sunday is this card. So cute, right? And this card. Both of them. You'll win both these cards. If, um, so just comment below. That's all you have to do. This one has this little envelope I made right here with the little ladybugs. They are so sweet. And this on the back. So fun. And then, um, of course, we have this right here. And then this on the back. So let's go ahead and start uh, to make this wonderful card. Uh, now, well, let me talk to you about this one first. Okay, this, these little ladybugs. Um, that is a hostess set. When you sell like $300 or purchase $300, that is where that is free, right here, at the $300 mark. And then you can receive this for free, free hostess set. So I've really had a lot of fun with that. But I also know that a lot of it's hard, three hundred dollars is a lot of money, um, so I thought that that's why I would give that card away too. And if you're wondering what celebration is, that's where you get to pick free product from um, either from that beaut that little catalog that I just had. Now here is the ladybug set, and then we have ladybug dies now which I thought are just so wonderful. We had these new things launch. Um, they will launch for customers on February 4th. For demonstrators, you can get them now. I got the framelits that went with my ladybug. They were just $29, plus I got my 20 25% off. I get 25% off. Um, so if you want to join my team, I would love to have you. 
I also did a card with this uh, paper right here, Please Does Punch, and that does not do the picture justice whatsoever. That is some really, really pretty paper. So right now they're having a big special. If you join Stampin' Up, you get some paper, the mini cutter, you get to pick a stamp set of your choice out of either catalog. Um, and then you also, uh, everyone that's joined this month for me, I've had three to join um, under my team, uh, and I welcome them and appreciate them. Uh, but they also got a paper pumpkin box. So that was fantastic. So that was awesome. But tonight we're going to work with this honeybee. I think that this is just so much fun. Absolutely so much fun. I just, the mechanism of this card just, I just love it. And you know, you can make any kind of an embellishment there. So what we want to do is let's talk about, um, let's talk about measurements first. The first thing you want to do, um, hey Carol, um, the first thing that you want to do is to have your base and um, this is 11 by four and a quarter and then we're going to score it in just a moment at five and a half and at two and three quarters. You're going to want to have um, this piece right here and this makes the mechanism for what we're going to do. This piece is one inch by 11 inches, and this is a three quarters of an inch by 11 inches, and we're going to glue those together in just a moment, just like that. Now, then, um, let's see, where did, all, where did I put all of everything else for my card? Oh, okay, now, I did this um, honeycomb right here. I cut it out of the honeycomb die. It comes in right here in the um, detail B dies. And what I did was I took this black and gold and I lined this up so that, see how I have like, really kind of want to light it here, where I have like strips of black. And then that's how, when I cut it out, you get the different colors of the black and the gold on there. But that's how I lined that up. I just wanted to show you. I, I put these, the two center ones, the long, stra long straighter ones in the black. And then that, that was my result. So I was really thrilled and happy with that. Um, now, why am I not seeing all of my pieces that I just had here, right? All right, am I gonna start screening? Should I start screaming? No, they're over here. That's why. <laughs> okay, so uh, you need a piece of DSP that's five and a quarter by four, and then two pieces, or you could really do four pieces. Like here, I didn't add it on the back, but now here I did. I added on the back. So I almost would do the four pieces, but tonight we'll just do two. So, um, but if you wanna just cover the back, just do two more. And these are um, two and a half by four, two and a half by four. So I would make four of those. So let's go ahead and um, move all this aside and let's do our scoring because I wanted to do that with you guys on camera. That's why I've cut most everything. I've got dimensionals on everything, but this is the most important. Hey, Brenda. Um, this is the most important part of doing this card is the scoring. <clears throat> so we're going to score at um, five and a half and two and three quarters. So let's do that. Five and a half, this is our base, and our base is 11 by four and a quarter. So we score it five and a half, and then two and three quarters. So the two and three quarter is half the distance, okay? So you wanna do that. Okay, so you can see those score lines right there. So it's five and a half and then half the distance. Okay, now what we want to do for sure is we wanna go ahead and take these two pieces right here. 
This is one inch by 11. This is three quarters of an inch by 11. And we want to put these together. To have a, I, I've shown this all weekend. Hey, Becky. Um, one of my downlines, Janet Bell, sent this tipsy, it's called a tipsy um, Tombow holder. And guys, I ca why have I not had this before? I, I'm like, oh my word. This is like a no-brainer and the best little tool on my desk. So I really suggest one of those. It really helps me with my Tombow and this bottle is empty. Let's get this one out. And I bet I have two empty bottles. I'll just guarantee it because I'm on camera. Of course. <laughs> I've been very busy in this craft room this week, so we just get another one, right? Very easy to open, our combo right there. Here we go. And I'm just going to put some of this down through here. And now this we want to put, like I say, on top of this, leaving a nice border, top and bottom. So kind of make sure that it um, it's even on that end and then just let it fall into place all the way down. And that's fantastic. And now if any sticks out here and it just might, you might want to give that just a little shave, and I think I will. I'm just going to snip that off right there. And I mean, it is a sliver, absolute sliver. Okay. Now, with this also, with this piece that we just made, I want to it keep freezing up as any... Oh, I'm so sorry. Is everybody having trouble with the video tonight? She said, Becky said hers keeps freezing. I don't see it on my end. My end looks okay. Um, okay, so this piece right here, you want to score it the exact same as what you did your base. So you score it at five and a half and two and three quarter. Five and a half. But see, you want to glue it together first. Now really, you're gonna to have to press that in there. Five and a half and two and three fourths. No trouble here. Okay, thank you, working. Okay, no, not me. Okay, might be her end. There we go. Okay, so that again, it splits the difference here. Can you see those score lines? Right there are those score lines. Okay, good, I'm glad you're not having trouble. Now we can move our trimmer. And now we're going to go ahead and fold our card. So I'm folding this in half. Let me get my bone folder right here. Folding that in half. And now this where I scored on this side, I'm going to fold it back. We've already got it scored for the half. You're gonna just fold it back, okay? Z, Z. All right, now this piece, we want this piece, let's get our card, let's look at this. We want the long part of the Z on the top, okay, Z. We want the long part of the Z on the top, so we're going to crease it right there, and then that's gonna come down, and then this is gonna come back up on itself, okay? So you have a mechanism that looks like that. It's a Z with the top of it is long, okay? So you fold it in half, and then you take one side and you fold it up halfway, okay? There we go. Now I'm going to use my bone folder on this again. And now this side. Beautiful. Now, what we want to do now is attach, let's put this aside. We want to attach our pieces here. 
This one is, you know, whatever whatever stamp set that you're using. You could use your poppies. You could make this a Christmas one. I mean, this goes like for any any kind of a card. But what a fun, fun folding card. So we want to do that. Look at the I I never knew like that makes a cap. As you're using the glue, just let it. You don't have to keep recapping it. I'm just all about my my little tool there. I know that a lot of you probably have them, but this is my first one. I've seen, I've heard of them. I knew that there was something out there, but um, oh, that's so pretty. I love this gold with the black, but I was just, when I got that in the mail, what a surprise. So much fun. Okay, right here. Now here, I'm gonna use my honeycomb. And I'm just going to attach these here. And I'm leaving my nice black border around there. And then this one, what are these? These are um, two and a half by four. These are two and a half by four. And you know, I really want some on the other side. Let me see if I could get into this really quick here. I have my paper right here and I really do want some on the other side. So let me cut two, two and a half by four. Okay, so here's two. And now I'm gonna flip this over and I'm going to attach these here. I'm gonna fix that on that other card. I'm going to put, um, is this called a double Z fold, Diana? Is that what this is called? I just called it a Z fold, but is it a double Z fold? This comes up like this. And then we put this here. Wonderful. Now we're gonna make the back. And with that, we're gonna use some Daffodil Delight. Yeah, I like that, right? That looks so nice and finished. I will definitely go ahead and cut two more for this and I'll do that off camera. <coughs> okay, let's do the back. So for this, this is just a piece of regular Whisper White. It's four and three quarter by three and a half. And um, we are going to get some Tuxedo Memento Black Ink and some Daffodil Delight right here. Oh, okay, you believe so. Oh, I didn't know that, okay. See, I'm, I'm even learning. I just, um, I had done a card like this and attached like some reindeer to it. it this was a while back. Um, and I was looking up, I was looking up fun fold cards and my video came up. <laughs> and I was like, oh, let me get that. And do something, you know, with something that we have. Isn't that adorable? Okay, now, Tuxedo Memento Black Ink. A little beehive and we're gonna put our little bees notice I don't have um, a foam mat underneath because we're on red rubber so that's nice and let me go ahead and get our envelope while we're at it just like that cute let me move that aside and then I'm gonna bring this in and we're gonna do our um, sentiment on the back, wishing you sunshine and happiness over top of our beehive. Just like that. 
cute. Isn't that adorable? So sweet. Okay. So sweet. Now, let's go ahead. This is um, Dark Daffodil Delight. I'm going to color the little bees just a little bit. They're little stripes. And then I like coloring this around its little face. It You know, around its head. Just to give it another stripe. Right there. And then right here. So cute. Let me get my envelope while I'm at it. While I've got this marker out. I've felt fold my lip out because these alcohol markers, sometimes they'll bleed through a little bit and I didn't want it to get on the other side of the envelope. Let's look at that. See how it bleeds through? I just didn't want it to touch that, that's all. But here, it doesn't really matter. Beautiful. Okay. Um, let me see here. Let me move this aside so we're done with that. Let me bring this back in with our card and we're going to open like this. So then we're going to put that on the back. Now other like this card right here, I did a little bit more matting back here because I had a white base. But here, because of the black, I just did the white. Just like that. Oh, so cute, right? Just so sweet. Mm. I love that. Okay, now we get to decorate. So that's fun. Let me flip this over. So I did all of my elements. I made another beehive and I cut it out and I stamped my hello. When I color on my envelope, I put a piece of scrap paper inside. Yes, Carol, for sure. Yes. Who's a lefty? Vicky. Oh, Vicky, are you a lefty too? Yeah, do you see how I have to turn everything? That's hilarious. Okay, so we're gonna put this on in just a minute. First, we want to go ahead and get our mechanism on. Now it's time, now that we have all of the flat work done, remember, do everything that's flat first, okay? And boy, this feels like a nice solid card right now. It's really, you know, with where it has the layers on it, it feels nice and solid. So watch what I do. I take this mechanism, remember, it's a Z with a big top, okay? I take this mechanism, I fold it. Oh, thank you so much, Becky. I fold it. Here and here is where you need your Tombow. You can use um, like uh, uh, adhesive strips. Now here I'm going to watch. I'm going to leave a little space. I'm not coming right up to that, okay? You don't have to. But here you could use, um, you know, like the tear and tape. I would not use snail. I would be afraid that snail would pick up. So just like that with the glue. And see, you wanna keep it folded together. Now, you're going to attach it to the card. Watch what I do up here. I'm all the way out onto the black with the bottom of that mechanism. And now I'm coming across and I'm just going to allow that to sit just like this using my honeycombs to kind of lucky I've got the Tombow we've got wiggle room we're gonna let that wiggle a little bit right there okay now is the time to get it where you need it and then push it into place nicely okay so remember line it up you're nice and lined up on this side if you're over right here just snip it no big deal, just snip it. Just snip that little bit off and it is absolutely perfect. Perfect. Just some little tips. 
Okay, now, now we can decorate, right? Cute. Okay, so I've got my um, Stampin' Dimensionals. I put my little hello here, and I'm going to add this to the front. And then I'm going to add a large B with a dimensional at the top, not letting it go over this part of the card, okay? Now I'm gonna open it up, and I'm going to add my flowers on the inside right here. And this I'm gonna do with Tombow. This I colored with um, Dark Daffodil Delight, and I used um, Light Old Olive on the leaves. That little line, there'll be like a little line on the leaves, and I just did a little bit of Light Old Olive on there. Now this one, this one I don't want popped up. Just a little Tombow here. So this one goes right here, okay? And then the other one that goes the other way, okay? And we're gonna put it in here and down a little bit. Now to hold that down, let me get a block. Well, I, I put a block on it to hold it down while I put Tombow on other things. Sometimes we need another set of hands, don't we? Okay, now I'm going to put this one over here and just lower. And I'm gonna put my block on it. Then I'm going to put two small um, bees right down here, like they're flying. This one up a little bit. And then one small bee in here so that we have a nice little trio of bees in that little, um, I don't know, area of the card. Now over here, um, I elected not to put a sentiment on this one because it's so busy, okay? It's just so pretty, just the way it is. Very busy, really pretty card. Um, over, And not that this one isn't busy in itself, but I thought that it I kind of looked like a picnic and this reminded me of more of um, like the napkins on the tablecloth. So I used a little um, rectangle stitched framelit there. So isn't that cute? Oh, these, this one is just, I just love that. Okay, now over here, we are going to put our, um, our honeycomb here. And this, um, I could use my little sponge. You've seen me do that before put a little Tombow and, but I'm just going to add a little around here in dots. And I'm just going to just a little bit here and there and everywhere just to hold it down. And then I'm going to angle it. Let me put some in the middle. Oh, thank you, Becky. I love the ladybugs, yes. This I'm going to angle right here. And as you can see, the black and the gold really, really look great up against this gold background. Okay, now, down here, we're going to um, uh, glue our last flower. Well, that is taking hold. And really, um, this card, you know, you could sit and do your little pieces. It comes together quite fast. It's not really, it's not that difficult. It is seriously just the, um, it's just really folding the base in half again, one part of it back on itself in half again, and you've got it. This I'm gonna put right here. Put my little thing there. Now I'm going to put a, um, be there and then my last one I'm going to put up here in my honeycomb oh so cute isn't that adorable oh my goodness there is our card oh my goodness that is just so thank you it is so darn cute isn't it Paula thank you very much so sweet that is just adorable <laughs> Really, I mean, I am so thrilled with these cards today. 
Um, and then we have this going on. I mean, who couldn't? So the giveaway is, um, I'm gonna do this card right here because it has the backs on it, okay? I'm, so I'm gonna do this card for next week and this card. This came out so cute with those ladybugs. And I had a ball. This is in that set in the dies with the ladybugs and just so pretty. That's Flirty Flamingo. And I colored that with Flirty Flamingo just adorable so these are our cards for this evening i hope you guys will attempt to make a z fold card here or double z fold i guess it is a double z fold right because you've got this z here and this z here so here it is a double z fold card let's go over the dimensions just one more time together the base of the card is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half and scored at two and three fourths. The DSP right here is five and a quarter by four, and then you need four pieces, four pieces to cover your panels right here of um, DSP that's two and a half by four. And it is seriously that easy to make. And then whatever you wanna do with the back, this back right here is um, four and three quarter by three and a half the back for this one because I used layers the um, and this is pretty peacock um, this is five by three and three quarters and the white is four and three quarter by three and a half so it is just easy very very easy to make um, your mechanism here remember I did one inch you can even do it inch and a quarter it doesn't matter I think the one inch looks very nice I think it allows the card itself to shine behind it so my mechanism here it's one inch and then the dsp or whatever cardstock you put on top of it is three quarters of an inch it's so simple guys but remember this fold this is what does it right here this z right here okay when you fold it in half then fold one side back up on itself halfway it is it is scored at the same as your card is scored so this is scored at five and a half and two and three quarter please if you have any questions email me at joanne maddie at outlook.com i would love to have you join my team this is a fantastic time to even just buy product from stampin up because we have that celebration um, going on where you receive pr free product for every 50 dollars in product that you order you can pick out free products so that is just so much fun and um, I hope you guys enjoyed this this evening, and I will see you next Sunday evening at 7, and we'll do something beautiful in here. I know we will. We'll find something great to do, won't we? Thanks again for watching. Please have a safe week, and happy crafting.